Hey everyone, this is Jenny Garcia from EarthyScrap.blogspot.com and EarthyScrap on Facebook. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you the unboxing of the January Pocket Life Kit from Citrus Twist Sugarland. And I'm also gonna do a project, uh, yeah, project life process video. And I am hosting the first challenge of this year. And first, I'm going through the pieces. This is the ephemera pack. First, I show the stamp which is really awesome, looks like very inspirational. I love these phrase stickers. They have, a, Trina has a, a special hand to make those. Those are awesome, puffy stickers. And I always love little sprinkles and phrases. This month they added a book page and I love these, these are awesome for accents or you can just you said to make uh, a pocket a pocket card and that one was from the Nancy Drew book love the puffy alphas and also in this month cork hearts the journaling cards for this month and if you're still not a 2018, they're double-sided and you can use them for a bunch of things. They're not really winter related, so if you live in the Southern Hemisphere, this is perfect for you. I know that I've seen a lot of comments in you know, other boards where people complain like, if you're in Australia, you can have a pack of cars that is all about winter because that, how is that helpful for you? But these are awesome because they're double-sided and, you know, you can use them for many occasions. This month, Trina added a special pocket life card and it says happy mail from citrus twist and on my desk and on the back it has a grid two four by six cards and I love these these are perfect for the first uh, week or even the intro page to your project life album The cutouts also with awesome labels and phrases and this pack is from Crate Paper and I forget the name of the line but it's super cute, it's a 6x6 pack and you get half of it. And I love these because you can make either 4x6 cards, 3x4s or I like to use them with my dies to make little cutouts to add to my layouts. I have a really weird way <laughs> to pass in pages, but fun fact, in the sixth grade, I had a teacher who spent a whole class teaching us how to pass pages so we wouldn't lick our fingers or, you know, dog ear pages or anything like that. She was high maintenance, but it worked because I'm 31 and I still <laughs> do that. They all come in an awesome little pouch. And I always divide my ephemera and I put it, you know, I divide the bigger bigger pieces and tags with another section is labels, little words, little sprinkles, words that are scripted like the wonder and nap. That's how the whole pack looks. And I got that little container at the dollar store, only one dollar. And I always pull out some washi that complements the collection because I cannot live without washi. And I'm gonna start with the process, yes, with the process video, I'm gonna choose the cards. But my challenge for this week and for, you know, probably the first month of January that I'm sharing at the Citrus Twist blog, it's to get your process together so you can be, so you can catch up with 2017 and be even more successful with documenting your memories in 2000, 
Oh, well, oh my god. 2018. And, um, and the first thing I said that it would be helpful to do is to make an inventory of the pages or spreads that you need to finish, either if it's weeks, if it's a vacation that you went on, anything like that, make a list. And second, you want to get uh, a printing plan because printing is one of the downfalls for project lifers it's one of the reasons many of them fall behind and here I tried to stamp with white ink and it didn't work out because the grass is still too white so I'm gonna cover it with the stamp and label so yeah so I have a printer and that helps my process out a lot really 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 a lot uh, I have a Canon PIXMA and some people you know said that, oh but you know it's more expensive than going to the store and I don't think that's exactly true. I get a lot of deals on paper. Like I haven't bought like paid for paper in two years because at the Canon website, you can buy ink and they will give you free paper. And they have lots of deals like that. Last time I got ink at Joanne's in the clearance section in each pack of uh, four or five, three four yes each pack of four was only twenty five dollars so that was a really good deal because in the website it's almost fifty dollars just like in Amazon but in the website they give you paper and I have tons of paper so I don't need more paper so that deal was really good for me and I only bought two I wish I bought like eight but you know I was trying to not spend too much and uh, so yeah if you uh, send your pictures to print to a place I would recommend to um, send your photos either every two weeks or at least each month like at the end the last day that day you send uh, your photos to your lab to get printed and what I do is I edit my um, photos and I put them in my phone in uh, in a, in a folder that says print these photos and that way I know what I need to print once I print them I delete that and I know that I'm not talking too much about the, the, the process but you know it's simple I'm gluing stuff I'm using stickers you know the drill uh, but since this is the challenge and it's January 5th I really want to help people out especially people that are just starting or people that are feel like they need to catch up because they're so behind with uh, 2017 so I these are my tips to help you out if you don't have a place where you want to send your pictures to get printed or you want suggestions you can go to the suggest twist fan page on Facebook and ask there are many ladies there that do Project Life, so I'm pretty sure they will be happy to help you out. And once you figure out your printing, uh, you could think, look back to your year and think about techniques or memories or things that you want to document and how you want to document it. For example, this year I added a bunch of things from my phone, you know, screenshots fake facebook posts text messages so that's something i would like to use in the future uh a technique that i would like to use like for the last challenge of the year crystal challenge um this is just twist peeps to use stitching and now i am hooked on that and i'm so happy so i might repeat that during this year and you know so on and all the techniques that you have seen from me and you know this is my style of doing it but it just twist has other ladies that do project life that do it very differently than me but we all use the same kit and I love to watch those videos because it's weird how someone can take exactly the same thing as you and turn it into something completely different so there's Adele in Gipwil, uh Dearly D, Diane, Pink Crafts, Pink Hippie Crafts on Instagram, and that's Crystal. Well, Candace Perkins, 
her style is super clean and pretty and awesome so depending on the style that you like and you do and speaking of the team this is back when i was accepted in the team so i took a screenshot of that like i was saying and added that to my layout so all the ladies have different personalities and themes and the way they do things so it might be helpful to look a lot around even if they're not the style that you would normally do because i don't do simple i physically can't i don't know my hands just keep moving and putting crap on photos but i love to watch ladies that do simple i don't know why and i was not happy with how that stamping was coming along so i just put a sticker on the top Oh, if you want to stamp more on pictures, then you can try that too. So once you reflect about all of those things, you're editing, you're printing, what you need to do, how you want to do it, you need to create a game plan. And if you're behind from Project Life, I want to challenge you to make two or three, depending on your time. Don't feel guilty about it. If you can, then you can because things happen and I completely understand that two or three spreads weekly you know just get them done don't think too much about the things that you need or how you want to do them you do it as best as you can and you know just work from there and with my such a twist kit i make three projects for the design team so that's three double spreads that i make using that kit and I always have leftovers enough for one or two and once you put all the leftovers together from previous months that's a lot so you can stick to one kit and that's gonna help you that's another tip that I would recommend limit your supplies when you go around looking you know turning your room around and looking for papers and all that a you make a huge mess which happens any anyway so but you also, you're not limiting yourself, so you spend more time choosing items instead of focusing in the memories that you have to document. In this photo, I was reading the book, The Radium Girls. It's an amazing book. It's the best book I read last year. If you needed a recommendation for reading, that book was amazing. A little sad, but it was amazing. And, um, and I'm happy with the way that I edit and print and the memory, the, the pictures I take. So I'm not changing anything about that. And I also leave myself a lot of wiggle room to break my own rules. So I don't have that many rules. I would say that I don't have any, but you never know. So the less rules, the less you, you know, put pressure is less pressure. To follow you know a certain amount and I also picking the same sizes and photos like my vertical photos are always three by four and the horizontal six by four and that helps because then I always choose a similar kind of um, page protector I have a but I turn it into F all the time because it's cheaper. I just bought uh, a Studio Calico, you know, a pack, actually, sorry, at the Studio Calico sale of 60 page protectors that are A. What I can do is use my fuse to fuse them wherever I need to. So if I need an F, if I need something that is not F but needs more pockets, then I use my fuse. So once you have, and I want you to get this, those things, especially your game plan on paper. And I want you to share it, either share it on Instagram and tag me at JennaGarcian or share it in the Citrus Twist fan group because it would help you with accountabil accountability. <laughs> I can't say that, but it will help you with that. It won't help you pronounce it, but it will help you with it. It's almost like Weight Watchers when you do the Fitbit challenge that because you have people around you pushing you or you have to, you know, put almost a front and documentation and show people, then it helps you reach your goals. 
So I want you to share your game plan on the Suggest Twist uh, fan group or Instagram, like I said. You can put it in your planner or you can put it in a place where you will see it often. Because that way you can, you know, scratch off weeks of your list or, you know, just look at it or it's around so you see it more often and, you know, help you out. And for, I have uh, two weeks in this spread, one for each page, and I'm very flexible with that too because some weeks I don't have enough photos. And I was missing either a three or a one. I think it's, a, yeah, I was missing a one. So I use my Amy Tangerine stitching templates. And like I said, ever since uh, Crystal's challenge, I've been all about the sewing. And it's a lot of fun. I wouldn't do it like Paige Evans or some of the girls do like giant flowers and it's intricate work and it's beautiful, but uh, no, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'll, I'll let them do it. They'll they do it better. And yeah, just get your game plan ready. Don't be too hard on yourself. And I really like this title card. Start somewhere, you see? Follow the, uh, oh my God, how do you say that? The advice of that card. Now just make a few check marks in that paper. And in this week, I, I keep forgetting to do this. I went lower instead of taking pictures from above because I saw a post by Becky Higgins and she was taking pictures while she was lying on the floor and it will look up or it would be lower and the perspectives are really cool and it turned out really nice. So I got really low next to my daughter so I could see her eye to eye. And also figure out how, how do you wanna journal? Do you wanna use your typewriter? Do you wanna use your handwriting? Do you want to do both? Figure out what's also easier for you because my typewriter, it's a little loud. So if my kids are sleeping, I don't, I wouldn't do that to myself. Interrupt sleep time. No one does that. And I hate how that dress, I, I liked it, but I hate it. Does that make sense? And I think that sticker says it could be it could be worse, something like that. So it's like that's perfect for for this photo. It could be worse. And I was just trying out a dress in the dressing room with my running shoes on and a dress. That's perfect. And this is how the whole thing looks. I also have movie tickets and a movie poster. I hope you got some ideas from this. I hope you challenge yourself, you know, to write it down. It's only gonna take 30 minutes, maybe less. But I hope it really helps you. I hope you don't put too much pressure on yourself. Enjoy the process, that's the most important thing. Um, down below, I'm gonna have all the products that I used. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I forgot to talk about that card my husband was away on training so I cut out two little houses and he was in Pennsylvania so I cut one that was very tall it looked like a building and I put PA and then a little house that said MD well I hope you enjoyed this video if you like it give it a thumbs up make sure you share it with your friends if you want to see more make sure you subscribe if you want to follow me on social media I'm Jenny Garcia and on Instagram Twitter Pinterest Periscope even though uh, I never go there uh what else uh facebook i am earthy scrap and my blog is earthy scrap but blogspot.com thank you so much for watching have an awesome day and go kill this week of project life bye